You can think of a chemical equation a little like a cooking recipe. The equation tells you what is being combined, how much of each item, and what will be produced. To begin with, the reactants will be found on the left of the arrow. This is what you're going to combine together. And the products will be on the right, which will be what you're going to produce. The arrow tells you the direction of the equation and what it will yield. In other words, what it's going to create. So again, reactants on the left, products on the right. The elements are represented by symbols found on the periodic table. All elements begin with a capital letter. Sometimes the elements are combined to create a compound. You will also see subscripts at the end of an element. Here's, an, here's the subscript. The subscript only applies to the element it is found behind. An equation may also contain coefficients, which are found in front of an element or compound. If a coefficient is front of a compound, like 4H2O, then you multiply the coefficient by each element, so you would have 8 hydrogens and 4 oxygens. Sometimes you will see parentheses with a subscript after it. The subscript applies to everything in the parentheses. Some chemical equations will also have a symbol for the state of matter. You may see a lower case G for gas, L for liquid, S for a solid, and AQ for aqueous. The plus sign tells you that you have more than one reactant or product. Equations must also be balanced, which means you will have an equal number of atoms on both sides of the equation. For example, consider this simple chemical reaction. Calcium plus chlorine yields calcium chloride. Notice that you have one calcium and two chlorine atoms on the left, and then the same numbers on the right, so it's balanced. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.